Ah, so basically, the machine was plugged in that extension lead. We had to force it in that one, but it wouldn't go in. So I said to my nano, oh, could you maybe put it in a different... And it's in there, and oh, it's, it, I think it was already like that, actually. But I basically saw it. Um, I was a bit stressed, actually, but I'll show you in a minute. I've stopped the washer, I just unplugged it quickly. Um, it's got a bit of water in, it is quite... The suds have gone down, the suds in here because it's been like this for five minutes. Um, I think when I put it back on, I'm going to put it back on Rapid32, let it run for a bit, and then just... I'm, I'm not sure, but basically what happened was we were trying to put this in, I was a bit stressed about the camera angles. <laughs> Which, and basically, this was in here, and this kind of flipped over a bit. When it flipped over, I saw there was a there's a blue thing come out. It was almost sparking a bit. So for safety, I was just because like I've never really had that happen before. I was so scared, and like that I hadn't noticed it either. But I was worried when I put this in. So, I'm not sure whether this is bad, because I'm not sure, I think, you know, like my mum has said that it's fine, and it probably is, me, it's a bit of rust, but the socket was already blown, I think, but, oh, that was so scary, this worrying thing is, is that it was working, and I was worried it would explode, so I just unplugged it. Um, but yeah, it's still on Rapid32. Um, it's got water in there. I think when I, I'm going to put it on a Rapid32 because it was still in wash, washing. But uh, my heart was beating so fast. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one.